Hi guys, it's me, Zion. Here's my mom. Here's my dad. And there's going to be a challenge called Who Made the Best Ocean? We're making oceans with science experiments. And we're going to show you exactly how you can do this at home. And then maybe we can vote on your favorite ocean that you guys make. Because you guys are going to vote on who made the best ocean. Remember to click that subscribe button. Ding! And hit the notification bell and smash that like button. Ding! And also hit the comments and see who won. And no, no, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. So let's start with the ingredients. You will need food coloring. The uh, primary colors and the secondary colors. Right, and secondary colors I chose were purple, pink, orange, and green. What else will you need? It depends on how many colors that you want. I'm picking four because I'm bougie. I'm picking three because I'm a normal human being. And I am picking three because, because I'm the speed of sound. You will need a whole bunch of sugar, and you're going to have to boil the sugar into the water. Since I'm picking four colors, we're going to have to use three pots. One, if you were only picking two, three colors, you'd only need to three. use two pots. So the number of pots you need is going to equal the number of colors that you're picking minus one. And finally, you'll need to pick three jars because these jars are going to turn into the oceans. Izana gets the big one. Daddy gets the second big one. Mommy gets the little one. Since we're filling up three jars, we're going to pour two cups of water in each pot. If you were only making one ocean, you could probably make do with just one cup of water in each pot. Next, you'll need to get measuring cups. We use three different sizes. The first measuring cup is one cup. The second measuring cup is one and a half. Yes, and the third one? A quarter. Exactly. So you're going to put one of these cups into each pot. So everybody, grab your cup of sugar. Have yours. On the count of three, we're gonna pour. One, two, three. Can four. we eat the sugar? No. No, of course we can. Oh man. Boil the water and make sure the sugar is completely dissolved, dissolved. before you let the water cool. I think so. What happens to molecules when they heat up? They, they, they expand. Like what happens when the water molecules expand because they were heated up? They, they will spread apart. And to make room for what? Sugar. Right. And that's how the sugar gets mixed into the water sugar solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the more sugar oh, that's in the water, the more dense, dense the solution is. And what it's happens? It's called water density. Yes. And what happens to dense liquids? Do that? Does it go to the top or does it float to the bottom? It sinks. Okay. So we've gotten our sugar solutions out of the fridge. They're cooled and stirred just to make sure the sugar is completely dissolved. And what we've done is we've added a fourth my color. The fourth color is going to be just plain water with no sugar in it at all. Next, you, you see, we'll put the blue one in the dense, in the dense water. In with the most dense water, right? Yeah. That's right. It has more sugar in it. And as he adds that blue full color in to the most dense water, I will stir it to make it nice ocean blue. And the reason that we're making the densest water blue is because the ocean is going be to be dense. Dense. And what does dense liquid do? Float or sink? Sink. So it'll be at the bottom or the top of the jar? Bottom. Right. And when we're making an ocean, the bottom part wants the bottom part to be the blue part. Yeah, so. but they'll all mix in. They'll all mix in. They're not going to mix. They're going to make layers. Layers? It's going to be like a three or four layer cake. Yeah. <laughs> so the next layer, after blue, what do we want it? Yellow? Yeah, yellow. Yeah. Okay, so after... You're alright, you're alright. Don't, okay. ah! Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> it's just a piece of cake. So after blue, we're going to make a yellow layer. So blue is the most dense layer. Yellow goes the second most dense layer. Do you remember which pot is the second most dense layer? Exactly. It's gonna be like a sunset over the 
Riviera. The third layer is going to be orange. Okay. I am naming them. You're naming it. So you all know that the blue is midnight. The orange, the orange must be um darkness. Sunset. Sunset. Like darkness. Oh, sunset, and then goes sunrise and sunset. For no. you, for the for the yellow, yellow sunrise. No, um, this one will be darkness because it's a little dark. That's midnight, darkness, and lightness. light. Lightness? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like those names, man. They're good. They're good. You think my, do you think my, not, my names are good? Yeah, they're fine. Um, Top layer, which is the water layer, we were going to do red. Do we still want to pick red, or do you want to switch to pink or purple? Red. Red? On what yeah. Red, red. All right. So go ahead. Actually... You're yeah. pretty. <laughs> I would do Top this. Oh yeah! <laughs> We're gonna pour the ocean layer into our jar. Chaos. Two, two thirds. Have a little more than we have. There's no in there. Two thirds. That's, That's mommy's. Ocean layer. Same. That's daddy's liquid. This is the Zana's ocean, ocean liquid. For the next layer, we have to be really gentle because even if they mix, they should separate theoretically. But this is the first time we've done this experiment. So let me try it first. I'm going to try the syringe. I need one. Well, we're going well, to let I'm, mommy do it I'm first. Because if we mess it up, it'll be mine that's messed up and not yours. That's why I'm going to do it. Alright, I think this is working. So yeah, yeah, look. Do you guys want to go ahead and do yours? syringes do you have? Yeah. Right, and as we talk about um, density, what? oh yeah, wait. Remember to practice social distancing. No, was what? This doesn't make sense, Daddy. <laughs> social I'm, I'm distancing doesn't wait. make sense. Well, I'm going down too hard. It's gonna separate. It eventually separate though, right? Theoretically, if we did everything right. It blew out. All right, I, I learned something, Izana. I learned that we have to um, take it slow. Next layer was um, orange. Orange. I'm already on. If you tilt the syringe and let the liquid out gently against the side of the glass, right above the the liquid at the bottom of the jar, it'll separate a little bit better. That if you just pour the liquid straight into the jar. It's like a three layer punch you can make for like parties and bar mitzvahs. Type number one, if this is your favorite ocean. Type number two, if this is your favorite ocean. Type number three, if this is your favorite ocean. Okay, so I think we learned a lot of lessons from the science experiment. Yeah. So we can go around and each say one thing that we learned. So, um, the thing that I learned is you have to put less water to make it like spread apart. Yes, yeah, so you add yes. the water gently with a syringe. And I've learned that it's always best to get all the details of the instructions first and then and move then forward. work and then work right yeah all right now here we have to be very gentle with the next layer because we don't even what? if they mix they shouldn't even if they mix for the next layer we have to be really gentle or you yeah. listen when the instructions are given to you <laughs> So what I learned is that I thought that the big jars would be cooler, but the big jars were <laughs> big hazard. So I think using really small tiny jars, it's the best bet. The bigger the density differences between your solutions, the better your layers will stay separate. Also remember to keep doing science as long as you live. Yes, I agree. Is that what the music started playing?
Saturday and it is